close your eyes and watch your breath. There's goodness to be found inside. It's one of the reasons why we come to the monastery. We realize that the goodness in the world has to come from within. And there's lots of goodness there if we look for it, if we develop it. So get the mind to settle down. We can breathe in any way you want, whatever way feels comfortable for you. You can experiment for a bit to see what kind of breathing feels best right now. Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths to refresh the body. And as long as that's refreshing to the mind, keep it up. When it feels tiresome, you can let the breath go shorter or deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter, faster, slower. There's lots of potentials for goodness in here. Just look for them. We develop them by being generous, by being virtuous, and by meditating. This is our strength as we go into the world, because we look at the world around us there's all kinds of things that don't seem good at all. And sometimes you see people doing good in the world and it fails, which doesn't mean the goodness doesn't have a power. It's simply that sometimes its power takes a long time to show. But the goodness we look for inside, that's a lot more immediate and it's more under our control. We can choose to be virtuous, we can choose to be generous, we can choose to meditate. And in doing that, we develop a strength inside. Because we know that in the long term, that what the Buddha taught, that happiness comes from goodness, even though it may take a while, is a principle that you can hold to. I mean, the happiness that comes from not being good usually turns on you. It's like a snake. You hold on to the tail, the tail doesn't have any teeth, you think you're safe. But the tail is connected to the end that does have teeth, and it'll turn around and bite you. Whereas the happiness that the Buddha teaches through generosity, through virtue and meditation doesn't have any teeth at all. It's totally safe. And it's good for the world. We see places where people are generous, we see people who are virtuous. We see people who are meditating, and we find it inspiring. And so we can be inspiring to others when we do those things too. So even though we're off here in a quiet corner, this quiet corner can have its influence that spreads out. This quiet corner of your mind, is, you develop goodness there, and the goodness is going to spread out to your family, it'll spread out to your neighbors, and spread out to all the people around you. And in spreading out to them, it doesn't get diminished inside. It's like the light of a candle. Other people have candles, you light their candle. The flame of your candle is not diminished. So you set a good example for the world, and you get the full results of your example, and then it gets multiplied many times over for anybody else who likes to take your example. So hold firm to this principle that the happiness that comes from goodness is the happiness that you can trust. The happiness that comes from not being good is something you can't trust at all. So try to find the most trustworthy happiness that you can. <laughs>